Hey guys, it's Wrestling Fan for Life 98 who is back on YouTube. I and I am and I am back on YouTube guys to bring you a brand new video today to bring you guys a new video on my channel, my latest video on the channel for you guys that has come uh that's been now over a week now since I last did um my last upload on my channel, which was, uh, yeah, which was over a week ago on Monday, which was uh, on Monday the, th well, I think it was, yeah, the first uh, Monday of May, on Monday the 3rd of May 2021, where I did my May vlog, my kind of, you know, preview and all that for my videos of May of May 2021, doing like my preview and all that, and that I went over, you know, about, you know, one or two other things as well in that video again of what I'm going to be, you know, covering again on my channel this month again, going over the two, you know, pay-per-views this month, uh, well, going over again, like I said, just, uh, you know, just again to, to update you guys on what was uh, happening this month, on what, you know, what's... Uh, what's going to be happening this month and that this again is going to be uh the first uh, pay-per-view of of again of may that i'm going to be covering on my channel and that it is uh my wwe and it is for my wwe and this is for my wwe wrestle for this sunday's wwe wrestlemania backlash 2021 uh, pay-per-view uh, match card predictions and my preview thoughts, my thoughts as well and preview of WrestleMania Backlash 2021, which is, I mean, yeah, that's what they're calling it now. That's basically what they're calling Backlash and all that, guys, uh, and all that. And that, by the way, guys, that just before, again, that you, you realise again that I'm facing in a different way this time, uh, which is actually because that I'm facing towards this way because that actually because I, I actually have my camera up on the window seat sill up well on the you know on enough on I like because I face towards uh, the window but because that the sun today has been so bright and well because it's been bright and all that and sunny while I was trying to set my camera up and all that you know I just couldn't you know really see I couldn't really you know, see the camera too well and all that, and it was so bright, and just again, it was going in my eyes and all that, guys, but again, I've sorted it all out now, I've sorted out that, and to face it this way around this time, to face it uh, from this way, uh, from a different angle this time, uh, but uh, yeah, and as you can see, guys, that behind me, it has been a really, you know, nice, uh, it's been, a, you know, it's, it's been, you know, it's been a nice day as well, and all that, and that's why, again, that you can see that it's bright behind me because the sun is out, but again, that's why that I've had to face the camera while I've had to pull it this way around, because that, again, when I was facing towards the sun again, it was just blinding my eyes, and that, again, it was just, you know, hard for me to, to see, it was difficult for me to see, uh, to see the camera and all that, and to see, you know, how it was, but again, that this looks uh, more better, like I said, it looks more better this way now, but again, it was just so again that, like I said, that I wasn't getting again direct sun, you know, going into my eyes and all that. So, but again, but all that again, you know, uh, to the side, guys. But, but, uh, but yeah, but like I said, guys, so that I am here, as I said, though, guys, to bring you again the uh, the upcoming, my upcoming uh, predictions then, pay-per-view predictions uh for wwe wrestlemania backlash 2021 and so without any more further ado guys let's get into uh the first post into the post uh wrestlemania 37 pay-per-view then the first uh pay-per-view post wrestlemania 37 weekend which again now as i said was over a month ago and uh so that yeah so that backlash again like i said wrestlemania backlash is is on this sunday will be on this sunday on sunday the 16th of may may 16th 2021 and that it is going to be coming uh again now it is going to be back inside returning now as i said uh inside they're having it again now back in the wwe thunderdome now Again now, up until, you know, SummerSlam now, which I believe is going to be, I think, when they're next possibly 
going to have fans, as I said, you know, to gradually again, you know, to come back in, to have fans again in for SummerSlam in August, which I think that's what I've been hearing. Well, again, that's what's been going on. Like, that's again what, um, what uh, again, what insiders, well, what again, what journalists are saying. Well, not the journalists, but that's what they reckon, that that's what's again, that's what they think's going to happen is that again, well, that's what WWE wants to do is now is to wait till SummerSlam now to bring again more fans, you know, back in, uh, you know, back into an arena. In, well, again, to have live attendance uh, for SummerSlam, which again, which makes again, you know, more sense, you know, when that makes more sense, because again, that SummerSlam again is again, you know, one of the big four traditional pay-per-views because it's one of the big four pay-per-views of the year and that so again that's probably again you know like I said the right time to again to our fans you know back by then you know for SummerSlam so I can understand that but that yeah so like I said you know Backlash will be back though uh, again in the WWE Thunderdome it's taking place in the Thunderdome again uh, as I said but, th but, but though there is again one change because um as I said now, it is going to be uh, in a different, uh, you know, setting uh, this time. Well, it's, it's been moved to another venue because that now it's um, been it's been moved now to uh, to the Euling Center now in Tampa, Florida, because that uh, the four months that they had their four month, the four month uh, residency uh, in, in Tropicana Field now uh, ended uh, after WWE Fastlane, I believe. It was after Fastlane, which was the last time that they had, you know, uh, you know, an event, well, that they've had been having, you know, that, that was the last pay-per-view there. But, I mean, like I said, but, but it was basically, yeah, it was after, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, but then it's been after WrestleMania then that they've been in the Euling Centre uh, it was the, just the night after WrestleMania 37. And then again, because like I said, I think it's all to do again, because like I said, that their residency, uh, again, in Tropicana Field uh, ended, well, like, you know, their stay in Tropicana Field, uh, you know, was coming to an end. Well, ca it has came to its end now uh, again. So that now, like I said, it's now in the Yawling Centre now, the Thunderdome. But again, that doesn't, again, really make, you know, much difference, really. But it, Because, again, it's still, again, going to be, like, you know, the same. I mean, it is a little bit slightly different. It is, a, you know, a little bit more kind of different. But uh, but anyway, again, so that's, again, where, where again, where Backlash uh, will be. That's where WrestleMania Backlash is. And then again, like I said, it will be on Peacock, streaming on Peacock and the WWE Network, uh, again, for elsewhere, uh, you know, for, for WrestleMania Backlash this upcoming Sunday. So, uh, so yes, and that this then, guys, just to quickly again give a, few, a bit more information, that this is, again, the 16th uh, Backlash event as well in, uh, in the chronology order as well. Uh, just again to let you guys uh, know that quickly this is this will be this is going to be the 16th backlash pay-per-view taking place this sunday the 16th uh, annual backlash in you know in chronology which again which again when you think about it again i mean that yeah i mean backlash again has been one of the more longer pay-per-views as i said that's still been going outside of again you know the traditional uh, you know, so-called, again, well, the big four, you know, the traditional, you know, big four pay-per-views. That Again, that the fact that this is going to be the 16th, you know, Backlash, and then again, that Backlash started, you know, back in 1999. So, um, over, again, 21, well, 22 years ago now. So, uh, you, you know, again, or 21 years ago, whatever, that the first Backlash was, but it was in your house, uh, in your house backlash but but I mean yeah and that like I said and that it is also again being back to being tagged as as again as the first as the first post WrestleMania pay-per-view again that it used to be uh you know that it used to be backlash from again from 1999 to 2009 so that's why again that I really like I said I don't get again why that they've just changed the name 
to WrestleMania backlash because I think again, like it doesn't again need to be caught. It doesn't again need to like have it, you know, as WrestleMania backlash because again, we know it's, you know, after WrestleMania, we know that anyway. We've known, you know, I, I you know, like I said, it, it's more again just of again of a minor thing, and that like I said, I think it's just because that it, it's to add it again, like you know, as again as part of like the gimmick and all that i suppose and you know and and just begin because well yeah so that's it i suppose but but uh but anyway guys so with that again now done and out the way with there that was just again me going over that stuff going over all that but now guys and also again it is for, it is only again just going to be again you know for raw and smackdown again oh, for the raw and smackdown brand divisions as well for wrestlemania backlash again well a main roster uh, event so uh so yeah but like i said the backlash though has done you know pretty well as i said the fact that again that this is the 16th you know this is going to be the 16th backlash so yeah so with that again now done guys that's that bit you know again uh, that i've gone through so that then now guys uh, we're now on to then, let's get on then guys, to the match card for WrestleMania Backlash then now. We can now move swiftly on uh, to the match card. Let's get on to the match card then for WrestleMania Backlash where in total, the as of right now, because again, I am recording this again, you know, two days. Well, I'm, I'm recording this again actually just before Smackdown again tonight as well before smackdown you know takes place uh this evening uh, on the go home you know smackdown before wrestlemania backlash 2021 so uh so yeah so that as i've got right now there are six matches that are scheduled on this card guys uh, again as i said as of right now as of again of uh, as of uh after Monday Night Raw this week, after Monday the 10th of May Raw, which was the go-home Raw before, you know, after, uh, you know, uh, that's that's before Backlash, WrestleMania Backlash, so that yes, and that we will have five matches, we will have five championship matches taking place on WrestleMania Backlash, with one match again, only one non-title match on this event so far, that is, uh, you know, that is only just, you know, just only a normal match. Well, is uh, again, I'll get to again to that in the minute. Well, when we go through the matches, what that one is, but yeah, and the, yeah, so there'll be five championship matches, well, five uh, titles to be defended. That includes again, again, the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship, both uh, that are going to be defended. And so, and that yet, guys, there hasn't been no kickoff match that's not been announced yet for WrestleMania Backlash. So, I don't know again yet what the kickoff match will be. So, I think again, you know, we'll have to wait and see and all that. We're going to have to see, uh, you know, well, what, what we, you know, what we get for the pre show. But again, I mean, like I said, that's not really any, you know, big deal anyway. But again, that as I said, guys, when we do again. When I do again get to my pay-per-view review, though, of Backlash, though, next week, guys, then, again, I'll cover, you know, the matches, any matches, like I said, that were on the pay-per-view, well, that were added again to, to the matches again that are on there now, that are on here now, uh, that I've got, you know, written down here, well, that are scheduled, because, again, these are all off Wikipedia, as I said, as of, you know, as of now, so, uh, so yeah, guys, so I've got these down off of Wikipedia, but, uh, but yeah, so without again, guys, more waiting then, let's go through then each match then, as I said, and so, yeah, so then that we start off then, guys, with the first match that I will be, uh, you know, going into, which is, uh, Damian Priest, uh, versus The Miz in a lumberjack match and this is uh to be a lumberjack uh match guys now i haven't you know again i haven't really got you know a lot here uh to say here about this match about uh you know the, the ma this match here between damian priest versus the miz because i have to be honest with you guys i've not really kind of been seeing 
a lot of what's been going on recently on Monday Night Raw and all that. I'm not going to lie, like I've not been, you know, keeping up to date with what's been going on between, you know, this feud between Damian Priest and The Miz. I only, again, kind of know again what's going on with, you know, again, with the WWE title picture and with the War Women's Championship, you know, matches. But again, I just, again, don't really kind of know with what's going on, with what's been going on here between The Miz and Damian Priest. But, you know, the, the feud again has been all right. You know, it's been okay. But it's more, again, been carrying on, you know, after again, after that again, that Bad Bunny and Damian Priest again defeated The Miz and John Morrison in again, in Bad Bunny's, you know, uh, in ba uh, Bad Bunny's, in ba but that was in Bad Bunny's in-ring uh, debut at WrestleMania 37. So that really, again, I think it's just kind of, you know, following on. It's just kind of continuing on after that, really. That I think basically, again, because The Miz, again, was still upset over that. So that basically then now he's just, you know, again, been, been uh, you know, that, uh, that he's still, again, not finished with Damian Priest yet. Um, that this feud between him and Damian Priest isn't over. But, uh, but yeah, so again, so I don't know again why it has been made into a Lumberjack match. I don't really again know why. And again, I don't know again who the Lumberjacks will be, you know, for this match other than, again, you know, probably, I'll probably say it's probably going to be like, you know, John Morrison, you know, the New Day. I think they're probably going to be the Lumberjacks, but I mean, yeah, to be honest, guys, though, like I said, that I'm not, again, really too interested about this match, though. So, again, I'm not going to go into this match, like I said, a lot here between Damian Priest versus The Miz. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, again, like The Miz, again, is trying again to help, you know, put Damian Priest over and all that. Like, he's trying to to get him over in this match and, and things while well, in this, you know, in this uh, feud and all that to help try and get Damian Priest over. But, uh, but there we are. So, and that, uh, I mean, again, that, like I said, whether or not again, Damian Priest is gonna, is gonna have him benefit, you know, from this, I don't know. And I don't know again, what's going to happen with Damian Priest after, after this, well, after uh, this match, but, but, uh, but again, I can definitely, again, maybe, you know, again, see Damian Priest, like I said, going maybe, like I said, on, on a singles run. Well, to go on, you know, maybe like after the United States Championship at SummerSlam, which I actually believe I think that that could maybe be a possibility is, is for like maybe he might again get a shot maybe at Sheamus to go after maybe Sheamus for the United States Championship maybe say at SummerSlam because that's where I think again that right now that's where I think Damian Priest is at the moment like that's where I just feel that right now I, I just kind of think like that that he's not again going to quite you know be able to uh to uh, again to break into again well to, to get anywhere near the main event you know picture at the moment or to get you know or to challenge, you know, challenging Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship, as I said, any time right now or any time, you know, soon on, on, you know, on Raw. So I think the best bet again for Damian Priest would be again to have him maybe again go after Sheamus for the United States Championship, maybe. But, uh, you know, but yeah, but as I said, we just got to, again, still see how things go with Damian Priest, because again, we still, again, don't want to get too carried away, you know, again, over uh, this, you know, over him, you know, you know, facing the Miz, because again, you know, and again, it can blow hot and cold, you know, like I said, it can blow hot and cold, you know, with Damian Priest, well, you know, with WWE again, and all that, so... But my prediction, though, guys, that I've gone for for the match, though, to get down to my prediction for this match, I have gone for Damian Priest, though, to go over the Miz in this Lumberjack match, uh, like I said. So I'm going to uh, go with Damian Priest. So as I said, I'm going to go for him to get the win here, well, to beat the Miz, to defeat the Miz in this Lumberjack match. And that, as I said, that he's going to get the win here and then that we'll see... Uh, again, what happens with Damian Priest after this. But that again, also, that like I said, they are again starting to maybe show a little bit now of tension. 
of maybe some sort of tension now as well with, with both John Morrison and the Miz, with the Miz and John Morrison now that's been uh, teased as well, that's been teased a little bit uh, again, uh, kind of again, you know, maybe it, that it, again something could happen, you know, there between the Miz and Morrison, even though that again I don't think that would make too much sense again for the Miz or John Morrison to, to break up right now. But, um, you know, again, with Raw's, you know, tag team, uh, you know, tag teams at the moment on Raw not being, again, you know, many at all that can uh, that can go after AJ Styles and Omos for the Raw tag team titles, which, again, I don't, again, obviously think that they can probably go after the Raw tag team titles, but it's still the fact that, again, I still think, again, they're good as a team together, you know, John Morrison and The Miz still, because, again, of being experienced in that. But we'll see what happens there, as I said. But like I said, I think Damian Priest is is getting the win here over The Miz in, a, in this Lumberjack match. Uh, so, again, there we go with that. So, so then, guys, on to then the first title match of the night then, guys, going into the first... A championship match then the first title to be defended the first title match of the of the event that i've got down here and then again guys i'm again going through like i said uh the matches again like i said from uh from you know from you know from the from you know from bottom from top to bottom well from bottom to top while well, i'm working my way to the main event matches well to you know to the bigger matches uh, on this card but yeah so for the second match then we actually have Ray and Dominic Mysterio who are going to be uh, who are facing versus the Dirty Dogs Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode in a tag team match for the WWE Smackdown tag team titles for the Smackdown tag team titles here so that yeah so that finally again at last that both Ray and Dominic here have finally earned uh, a shot then at the SmackDown Tag Team Championships here at WrestleMania Backlash against Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. And I actually believe as well that this might be like one of the only title defences that I think Ziggler and Robert Roode have had here on, on, a, on pay-per-view. Since again, they won the SmackDown Tag Team titles again, you know, back from the Street Profits which I think was back in January. I think they, they actually won them back again from the Street Profits, uh, Ziggler and Rude. But uh, but yeah, you know, they've not really been shown, you know, too much Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude. And again, they didn't, again, compete uh, at WrestleMania. They didn't defend the SmackDown tag team titles at WrestleMania. So, well, on WrestleMania 37 weekend, so that they are defending them again here, uh, here against Ray against both Ray and Dominic Mysterio. But but as I said, you know, I do think, you know, that this match, you know, should be, you know, okay uh, here between Ray and Dominic, well, and, and, and Ziggler and Rude. And, uh, you know, and yeah, but I just think that, again, that Ziggler and Rude, again, haven't had, you know, many title matches, you know, on pay-per-view. And again, they haven't been shown uh, too much. But, uh, but that, yeah... But, uh, but to get to my prediction, though, for the match, that I'm going to say that I think both Ray and Dominic, well, I've actually gone with a title change. I am actually going to predict for new champions uh, to happen here because I have actually I am actually going to be bold here. Well, not bold, but I'm going to say that I think that both Ray and Dominic Mysterio are going to defeat both Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode to, uh, to become to become the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Because I just feel that now, that I just feel, like I said, that, it, that again, it's it will be a nice moment for Ray as well to win the SmackDown Tag Team titles with Dominic here at WrestleMania Backlash. And that again, even though that again, this is kind of again like a giveaway pay-per-view and it's a random pay-per-view, you know, to do a title change on. But I just feel that again, like it's, it's been kind of coming for a while. Well, I think that they, they've kind of been waiting again to, to get to this moment here with Ray and Dominic because they've kind of again been having again you know a feud with Otis and Chad Gable on Smackdown as well but but you know but I do think that here that this could finally be 
when Ray and Dominic will finally again, you know, become the first father and son uh, tag team champions, win the, the SmackDown tag team titles. Because again, I just think, again, it will be a feel good moment for Ray. Uh, and for Dominic here, you know, as well. And I, 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 and I can just kind of sense it. I can just sense it, you know, sense it happening as well. But I think, you know, that, that Ray and Dominic will defeat, you know, can defeat both, you know, Ziggler and Robert Roode here and uh, and become the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So there we go uh, with that. And again, I mean, it's amazing really, again, you know, when you think about it still, as I said, though, that Ray again is going, you know, to be winning the SmackDown tag team titles, you know, with Dominic. But, uh, but you know, and again, you know, it, it is, you know, again, it, what a story, you know, like I said, what, what a story as well there. But, uh, but yeah, so, so there we are with that. But that is again now, guys, that's the only title change there that I think is going to happen. That will be the only title changer there. I reckon it's going to happen. So on then, guys, then, to the third match of the night then, which, uh, of, of the night then, which will be then, uh, which is uh, Bianca Belair versus Bailey, SmackDown Women's Champion Bianca Belair versus Bailey here in a singles match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. So this is uh, Bianca Belair's uh, first uh, pay-per-view, first uh SmackDown Women's Championship uh, defense here uh, again since she won the the SmackDown Women's Championship again uh, over Sasha Banks at WrestleMania 37, and that uh, and that yeah that I think again that Bailey though here you know is a good opponent uh, here uh, for Bianca Belair uh, as well here for her first uh, title defense as well. Now I still think again that like I said I still think. That maybe again that she might, like I said, still again, you know, get a rematch against Sasha Banks. But I actually think that that is going to maybe wait until SummerSlam. I think to maybe they're going to wait off on that until SummerSlam, I, I reckon though. But that again, that Bailey now has stepped in to take on Sasha. Uh, I mean, to take on Bianca here at WrestleMania Backlash. That again, Bianca Belair again is facing one of the four horsewomen here. Uh, like I said, but like I said, but finally again, that Bailey again is also back, you know, in the championship, you know, in the SmackDown Women's uh, Championship picture as well again, since uh, since the feud with Sasha Banks uh, last year, when again, when she lost it, you know, at Hell in a Cell last year. But that again, but I think again, though, that these two again can have good chemistry here, though, in this match. And that I think, again, this can be, this is definitely, again, I think one of the more better, you know, matches as well, I think, here on the card. And that I'm actually looking interest. I'm actually quite interested in this one here as well to see what happens. But, uh, but in terms of my prediction, though, uh, here, uh, like I said, for, for this match, that I am going to predict that I think Bianca Belair will retain. I'm going to say Bianca Belair retains the SmackDown Women's Championship over Bailey, and for Bailey to put uh, Bianca over here, as you know, as Sasha Banks did uh, back at WrestleMania 37. Because that I just feel again that I think that's what Bailey's going to do here. That's what she's probably most likely going to do to put, you know, to, you know, again, to get Bianca Belair over, you know, more again and to, to defeat again someone again like Bailey for her to overcome Bailey uh, and Sasha then, like I said, in, you know, in two back to back, you know, at two back to back events, well, at WrestleMania 37 and then now here at WrestleMania Backlash. And again, because again, they've got to continue, you know, Bianca uh, going here. I mean, like I said, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't think that Bailey, you know, again, is going to, again, to, to get, you know, the SmackDown Women's Championship back, like I said, down the road or down, you know, the line, you know, this year, maybe again. But that I just feel again that right now that I think Bianca, though, is going to retain here, that she's the favourite to retain because that again, you know, she she still only you know hasn't held it for long, and I think again she at least again needs to get a win here, like I said, over again someone like Bailey again, 
uh, who again, like I said, is similar to Sasha Banks in terms of, again, like I said, being established, that she's established, that she's, you know, a good opponent for Bianca here at WrestleMania Backlash to be her first, you know, number one contender. And then again, because like I said, they did again have that feud, as I said, that came, like I said, back at the start of the year, you know, back in January as well and, and all that. So, so that again now, so... So that's what I think will happen there. So I think Bianca will retain the SmackDown Women's Championship there. And uh, and there we go with that. But again, I definitely think, like I said, that this is, uh, well, one if only, like I said, the two matches, though, that I'm interested here on this card, though. It's only, again, this match and then the main event, like I said, wow, the, uh, the match which I'll get to. But yeah, so... Because, again, that this card, again, it's not really, you know, too great. Well, it, again, it's nothing, you know, special. But uh, but we'll move on from that. And then on to the fourth match of the night. And the second, uh, and then this is the Raw Women's uh, Championship match now. And this is uh, Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley versus Oscar versus Charlotte Flair. That's uh, in a triple th a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship uh, here. Ripley versus Oscar versus Charlotte Flair in Rhea Ripley's uh, again in, in her first pay per view uh, title defense as well. But again, she did again defend the Raw Women's Championship as well after WrestleMania. But uh, but yeah, so uh, but again, but that ended in a DQ. So uh, so yeah, but um. But again, uh, but like I said, so they've come back uh, again, though, now to having uh, again. But now, like I said, but then Charlotte Flair has, has now entered uh, back into uh, into again the Raw Women's Championship picture. But I don't again really have, you know, much to say here about this match. Other that, you know, that again, like, like I said, I thought it was again going to be a rematch here. that was going to happen between Rhea Ripley and Oscar here and Oscar at WrestleMania Backlash, but Charlotte uh, got added uh, into this match to make it a triple threat match uh, two week, the other week on Raw by Sonya Deville. So, but, uh, but you know, but I think, again, this can be, you know, a decent triple threat match uh, here. And I definitely think, again, that Charlotte being added, you know, is probably going to make this match, you know, better. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I don't think, like I said, that, you know, that, that Rhea Ripley and Oscar's match at WrestleMania didn't quite get as received as I think it thought that it was going to be. And I think, again, it wasn't, again, as nowhere near, it wasn't, again, as good as, you know, Sasha versus Bianca, uh, you know, in their match. So, you know, so I think, again, like, um, you know, we will have to see again here, like I said, what happens. But again, now, like I said, Charlotte Flair is, is back again in, in the uh, in the title picture because, you know, again, she missed out on WrestleMania, like I said, but... But yeah, so like I said, but in terms of my prediction, that I think though that Rhea Ripley is going to retain, is still going to retain though the Raw Women's Championship uh, for me here though. Uh, and that I think, and that likely I think she will pin Oscar to retain uh, the Raw Women's Championship uh, there. And for Rhea Ripley uh, to uh to pin Oscar to retain because I don't think she's going to pin Charlotte. I don't think that Charlotte is going to take the pin for here. So, you know, but there we go with that there. But that's my prediction there for that match. So I think that Rhea Ripley will retain the War Women's Championship. And uh but then I think like I said that maybe that like I said though that maybe um that Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair could still continue you know, maybe going into money in the bank, maybe, but who knows, but, uh, but I think, as I said, that after this, though, I do think that Oscar, then, is probably going to kind of, as I said, that she's going to kind of, again, though, take a back seat as well, after, you know, being uh, in this match as well, again, because, like I said, now, this is, again, like, uh, another match that she's been in here, for the Raw Women's Championship Oscar as well. And, the, you know, there was, again, still, I you know, but the, the, my friend Gary 
actually thought she was going to take her time off after WrestleMania. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I think this match again, you know, should be, you know, could again be a good match. But like I said, I'm going to, like I said, guys, I'll go for Rhea Ripley to retain though here. And, uh, and her, and to, for her, for both her, you know, for her to retain the Raw Women's title, or to walk out with the Raw Women's title. Or so we'll move on from that, guys. And that then, guys, for the penultimate match then of the night then from WrestleMania Backlash and for the fifth match that I have got down uh, here. And this is not the main event match that I have gone with. This is not the main event, but again, the penultimate match. Because I actually don't think, again, that this should main event. I don't think that this is the more interesting match. So that's why that I've put this as the penultimate match. Well, as the match before the main event. But that is, though, uh, WWE Champion Bobby Lashley with MVP versus Drew McIntyre versus Braun Strowman. Uh, again, in another triple threat match. And this, again, will be a triple threat match as well for the WWE Championship. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Drew versus Braun Strowman uh, here. And uh, and like I said, guys, to be honest, I just really... Um, all I have to just say about this match is that I just, again, don't get why Braun Strowman, you know, was added into this match. I mean, I don't really get why he was added into it, really. Because to me, again, you know, I just thought, like I said, that it was going to be, again, that they were going to do, again, a straight-up rematch here between Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley here for the WWE Championship, well, from WrestleMania. But the, obviously, again, I think what they've just tried to do is that they've tried, you know, to change things up a little bit, that they're trying again to change. They probably, again, just wanted to add Braun, you know, Braun Strowman into this match to make it a bit, you know, different. Well, just to probably, you know, add in a twist. But I still think, again, though, that, you know, you know I'm not too interested, though, in this match, and again on that, and because on Raw this week that Drew McIntyre actually, well, because then, you know, Drew McIntyre, you know, took on Bobby Lashley in in their WrestleMania rematch on Raw uh, this week uh, as well. But that was that wasn't for the WWE Championship, but you know, but still, but uh, but I mean, it is what it is. But I just don't get, you know, why Braun, why Braun Strowman has been added into this match. But, uh, you know, but I said about this, you know, the other week, but, you know, I mean, yeah, I just, again, don't really care, you know, for this match uh, too much, uh, you know, really, like, like I said, no offense to any, to any of these guys, but I'm, I'm just really, again, not too interested. But again, I mean, like I said, all it is, again, is that you've got, you know, three big guys out there. It's three big guys, three big, you know, three big, uh, you know, guys going out there in in Lash in Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and Strowman, who are just basically again going to be. They're just again going to you know, probably again brawl. You know, have you know they're they're just going to be in like having a brawl and all that in this match here. That it's probably mostly going to be brawling and just going all over the announce table and all that. And just again, what we normally again see in these you know, triple threat matches, again, with guys like these, you know, with, with Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre and Strowman, so, uh, but yeah, but in terms of then, guys, my prediction here that I have gone with, though, just to quickly, again, to cut down to my prediction, that I am still going to, I think, say here, though, that there's going to be no uh, title change here that I think Bobby Lashley will retain the WWE Championship and I think he'll pin Braun Strowman I think he's going to get the pinfall on Strowman uh, in this match here because that again I just don't think that probably Drew's going to get the pin that he's going to take the pin from from Lashley but I think that um that I think Lashley will pin Braun Strowman here to retain the WWE Championship but uh, but the, that again, that where Bobby Lashley is going to go after, you know, after this pay-per-view, I really don't know. And I really, again, can't see again whether or not that him and Drew are still going to, you know, maybe have another match again, you know, at, at Money in the Bank or maybe again next month at Money in the Bank 
we'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, like I said, this is Bobby Lashley's, uh, you know, first, uh, well, this, you know, this is, uh, but I don't think, again, that he's going to drop, you know, the WWE Championship here, that he should drop the championship here at WrestleMania Backlash to, to either McIntyre or Strowman. I mean, again, if it's going to be likely one of them, it will probably be Drew McIntyre, who's probably, you know, going to be more likely, you know, likelier to win out of him and Strowman. But, uh, but again, like I said, this is, again, just a big man match. This is just pretty much, again, your typical, you know, big man triple threat match here with three big guys. Again, just three big guys. These three guys going at it. So, but, uh, but yeah, so like I said, though, my pick, though, to win ultimately, though, is that Lashley, again, will retain the WWE Championship. And so... And that again, that he'll, uh, you know, then, you know, defend the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank next month. And that again, we'll see again who goes on to become the next number one contender then, you know, after what happens here. But, uh, but yeah, so there we go with that. And then, guys, that finally then that we have reached then the main event then of the night then. This is the main event match then, guys, of WrestleMania Backlash 2021. And the match that I am going with to be the main event. Well, my, you know, my booking for my booking of this uh, pay-per-view. Well, what, what, well, what I rightfully think should be the main event of this uh, of WrestleMania Backlash. And that is uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, versus Cesaro, which is Roman Reigns versus Cesaro. That will be Roman Reigns versus Cesaro in a singles match for the WWE Universal Championship, guys. And that who are guys that finally again that after that finally again it's been a long time coming, but Cesaro has done it. Cesaro finally again has worked his way. To finally getting that long awaited, the long awaited, uh, you know, championship singles, uh, you know, in a singles, you know, match for a WWE championship in his career. And that, again, I mean, this is a big uh, deal here for Cesaro. This has been a long, you know, wait, wait coming for Cesaro. But that I'm just happy again here that he's getting this shot here. You know, I am just happy, like most other, again, you know, fans. Well, most other fans, again, that have been waiting for Cesaro to get this opportunity here. And um, and then again, and to work again with, you know, with someone like Roman Reigns is, is again, is has been a long time uh, coming here. And, uh, and that basically, well, basically what happened was that on SmackDown, basically, Cesaro basically... Um, well, basically, a stipulation was added actually by Teddy Long, on the uh, on the um, which was on the uh, throat on the throwback SmackDown, that um, that basically Teddy Long added a stipulation that if Cesaro defeated Seth Rollins in their WrestleMania rematch, which was again on the SmackDown that took place. Uh, last week, the week after Daniel Bryan left, uh, when he had to, you know, leave SmackDown, that Cesaro then would be added, would then be, uh, would then be the number one contender, and would get to face Roman Reigns here for the Universal Championship here at WrestleMania Backlash. So that's basically uh, how it happened, and then Cesaro defeated Seth Rollins after there was interference by both Jay and Jimmy Uso, and that. Which again, which again, kind of led, uh, led up to Ro Cesaro again then being able to uh, to defeat Seth Rollins and get the better of Rollins again, and that then he was like I said then the number one contender. So that's again how we got to to this. Well, that's how Cesaro got to face Roman Reigns uh, here, and then again because like I said they literally again had a short amount of time you know to build this match up because that again off the week again before when Daniel Bryan again you know when Roman Reigns had that main event with Daniel Bryan on Smackdown for the Universal Championship so so yeah but uh but no but like I said this is a big deal this has been a big deal uh, again here for Cesaro and that again that, that I'm happy again that he's you know that he's finally got this uh, this opportunity here 
that he's been, you know, had to wait for this opportunity to come and that he's been patient, you know, waiting for this as well. Well, and, you know, frustrate, it's been frustrating as well. And then again, I mean, like I said, that, you know, you, you can say again that probably, like I said, the best time for Cesaro to have still gone after the WWE Championship would have, again, still been obviously when he was at his peak you know, four or five years ago. But again, regardless of all that, let's just be happy for Cesaro here that he is going to get this match with Roman Reigns. And I just hope again, that I hope that this match will be really good because this is again, the only match of this pay-per-view that I'm only interested in. Like I said, you know, mainly for Cesaro here, just mainly to see uh, you know, what Cesaro and Roman Reigns can do in this match. And I think, again, that, that again Cesaro is going to get a good match out of Roman here, out of Roman Reigns here as well. And I think, yeah, I think both of these two can, can have a good match uh, here. But, uh, but ultimately, though, guys, when it comes now, when I have to, again, come down to my prediction and who I ultimately think is going to win... <sighs> And, and again, as, as harsh as it is, well, not as harsh, but again, as realistic as I have to still be, that I still think again that, you know, again, when it kicks in, that still I think Roman Reigns will retain the Universal Championship here. I still think Roman Reigns is just going again to do enough to to uh, to keep the, the Universal Championship after that I think that either Seth Rollins, either Seth Rollins, or I think that either the Usos, again, are going to be involved in, in this match again, in one way or another. Because again, Seth Rollins again, wasn't done with, with Cesaro either, after when he lost to Cesaro last week. And again, being, you know, and blaming again, you know, Jimmy, you know, blaming the Usos for costing him that match, you know, last week. So that I still think, again, that Rollins, again, still, again, wants to settle a score with Cesaro as well uh, here. And that also because they're slowly, again, starting to tease, you know, again, like, uh, you know, early signs again of Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns as well. Uh, again, kind of, you know, with with uh, with Rollins, you know, not being, again, happy with, with what happened, you know, last week with the Usos. Again, who were well with because Jimmy again returned uh, to SmackDown last week as well. But I think, like I said, the main factor again, like I said, of what will come down to is again is you know Seth Rollins or one of the Usos interfering. You know, I mean, again, definitely again, you know, Jey Uso is going to get involved in this match because again, you know, because uh, you know, because again, that he always does in Roman Reigns matches that that happen, but. Uh, but again, guys, regardless of that, I still think, though, that this can be a good match. But like I said, I just think, again, that Roman Reigns is going to hold on to the WWE, well, the Universal Championship here uh, over Cesaro. And uh, and then again, he's just going to, to find enough to put Cesaro away. And uh, but again, but again, it all again comes down, like I said, to different scenarios and all that and what scenarios we could see uh, play out in that match. But I still again hope that again that this is again just going to be the start for Cesaro. And then again, I still hope that again, that WWE again just aren't again going to just, you know, again, like, you know, not take this push, you know, again, seriously with Cesaro because, uh, you know, because again, we've got money in the bank again. It is, like I said, coming up, you know, next month. And so that again, that I do again want to see Cesaro again, you know, be in that money in the bank, you know, ladder match uh, too as well. And to be one of the favourites uh, to win the money in the bank ladder match that I have, you know, that I've predict that I predicted uh, back at WrestleMania when he defeated Seth Rollins for what I, I think, you know, what, what I think, again, they should do with Cesaro. Well, that's where I think he should go next after this. But again, it depends, again, what direction, again, that they go in after, again, after uh, this match here between Roman Reigns and Cesaro. And, uh, and yeah, but overall, guys, that that is it, guys. That is my WrestleMania Backlash uh, preview and predictions there uh, done, guys. And I'm sorry again, like I said, that I kind of, you know, went on a little bit 
too long there. But overall, guys, again, to give, like I said, my final quick thoughts, uh, as I said on Backlash this Sunday, that again, I've not really, again, got to say a lot. I've not really got to say a lot else about this uh, pay-per-view. Other, again, that the main event with Roman Reigns versus Cesaro, I'm interested. I'm, I'm a little bit interested in that match. And, you know, Bianca Belair versus Bailey as well. I think them two can have a good match as well. And then again, and that Ray and Dominic, I reckon, you know, could become the new SmackDown. I reckon are going to win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. But other than that, guys, you know, it's, it's just, again, you know, like I said... I don't think it's going to be anything special. And again, this is again kind of, you know, been a drop off, you know, a little bit as well, you know, for WWE this month. Because again, of, you know, being, you know, after WrestleMania and all that. And then again, it's just uh, been a little bit quieter after, uh, you know, again with WrestleMania and all that now. Uh, again ended. So it, it kind of is what it is. And that, you know, again, like it's just. Uh, you know, the after effects again from WrestleMania now that will continue again until until we get to SummerSlam. So, I mean, yeah, but hopefully, as I said, that, you know, that this pay-per-view can, can you know, can again, can, can do, you know, all right enough and that, you know. And then again, we should again see a good match again between Roman Reigns and Cesaro and Bianca Belair and Bailey, I think. But again, but you know, like I said, you know, that the women's triple threat match I'm not too interested in, you know, and, and the and the WWE Championship triple threat match as well. Both the triple threat matches I'm not, you know, too interested about there on Raw. And Damian Priest versus the Miz either. So again, it's you know, it's hit and miss, like I said. Uh, but overall, guys, that is, again, my predictions there for WrestleMania Backlash. So hopefully, guys, that you again, you know, again, you know, I'll, I'll, tell me again what match you are looking forward to on WrestleMania Backlash going into it this Sunday, guys. And that, guys, now I will be back and I will be and I will come back. And then my, my plan is, as like I said, guys, I will come back next Wednesday then when I will be up here to then to review WrestleMania Backlash after that. After when it's uh, when the results of uh, when the results uh, and all that with the results and with again with my post thoughts, but uh, in reaction, as I said, uh, to what we see again between uh, Cesaro and Roman Reigns and uh, and, you know, in the other matches. But yeah, guys, so hopefully again, guys, you enjoyed uh, this video, guys, and I hope again it came out uh, well to you as well. And again, because I've tried again to make this video better for you guys again. I've tried to make the quality of this video, you know, seem better. And, and, and just again, adjusting the lighting, adjusting uh, how it looks. But uh, but yeah, but thanks again, guys, that you've tuned into this video. And again, guys, you know, check out my review for Backlash. Uh, my review for WrestleMania Backlash 2021 will be again. I will record is going to be recorded next Wednesday. And I'll see you for that, guys. So that'll be uh, my review of WrestleMania Backlash to come next. And again, guys, as always, stay safe and most importantly, take care. And uh, and again, guys, don't forget, subscribe, uh, you know, down there and, and like this video again, you know, just again to, to give this, this a like. Because uh, again, guys, you know, you know all that drill <laughs> you know so uh yeah thanks guys so thanks guys again and uh, i'm out i'm out in this one and yeah